All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds, who says in his ever glorious book, Say, Prophet, take action. Allah will see your actions as well as his messenger and the believers. And then you will be returned to him who knows what's seen and what's unseen. And he will tell you what you have been doing. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah and that our master Prophet Muhammad is his father and messenger. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, his household, companions, and upon those who follow their path till the day of judgment. The Almighty Allah has created this world and the stated norms to govern it and rules that regulate every action in it. For example, no subsequent shall precede a precedent, nor vice versa. The Almighty Allah says, the sun cannot overtake the moon, nor can night outrun the day, each float in its own orbit. Allah the Exalted also says, you will never find any change in Allah's practice. You will never find any deviation there. <clears throat> Allah has made these norms a balance that regulates the movement of life and achieves the construction and preservation of earth, which is one of the purposes of creation. As the Almighty Allah says, it was he who brought you into being from the earth and made you inhabit it and says, do not cause corruption in the land after it has been set in order. <clears throat> it goes without saying that nations that realize these norms and act accordingly will advance, even if they are not Muslims or even if they are not believers. These norms do not take the side of certain people or prefer someone to another. Among these universal norms is the rule of causality, Allah is the creator of means and results. He commanded us to take to make use of all available means. One, one means once means are utilized, results will follow. This is a universal norm, unassociated with certain time or place. Every action has its cause. Fire causes burning, killing causes death, eating causes satisfaction. Working leads to success, laziness causes failure, etc. The command to work is a religious obligation and a national duty. As the Almighty Allah says, it is he who has made the earth manageable for your travel, travel its regions, eat his provision, and to him you will be resurrected. Allah also says, then, when the prayer has ended, disperse in the land and seek out of Allah's bounty. Remember Allah often so that you may prosper. This is a concept of Islam regarding striving, hard working, diligence, and the reconstruction of land. There is no excuse for us to be in a deteriorated conditions under any pretext that has nothing to do with religion. These protests are just claims of idleness, laziness, and backwardness. Reviewing the lives of prophets and righteous people, one finds that they used to diligently make use of the available means in all their affairs. Prophet Noah, peace be upon him, was a carpenter. After his long life in calling his people to Allah, the Almighty Allah commanded him to build the ark. As Allah said, build the ark under our watchful eyes and with our inspiration. Do not plead me with me for those who have done evil. They will be drowned. It was possible that Allah could save Noah with his power without any person or action on the part of Noah. But Allah wanted to teach us how to make use of the available means. Prophet Noah obeyed the command of Allah and made the ark in spite of his people mockery at him. Allah said, so he began to build the ark and whenever the leaders of his people passed by him, they laughed at him. He said, you may scorn us now, but we will come to scorn you. He continued his work and Allah rewarded him and the believers of his people. Prophet David he, Prophet David, peace be upon him, was a black, blacksmith. Allah taught him this craft that benefited him and his people. Allah said, we graced David with our favor. We said, 
you mountains echo Allah's praises together with him and you birds too we softened iron for him saying make coats of chain mail and measure the lengths well do good all of you for I see everything you do Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him said no food is better to man than that which he earns throughout his manual work David peace be upon him the Prophet of Allah ate only out of his earnings from his manual work in the history of a prophet Joseph peace be upon him using the available means and the careful planning were the reasons for the survival of the whole country from a deadly famine prophet Joseph prepared a long deliberate plan to save the country from a famine that threatened the whole world and achieved for his country prosperity protection and economic power people of his time came from every far place to get the bounties of Egypt the glorious Quran narrates this for us saying Joseph said you will sow for seven consecutive years as usual store all that you reap left in the ear apart from the little you eat <clears throat> <clears throat> after that will come seven years of hardship which will consume all but a little of what you stored up for them after that will come a year when the people will have abundant rain and will press grapes Allah most high used to provide lady Maryam Virgin Mary with abundant provisions that Prophet Zachariah was surprised which is why he said to her as recorded in the Quran <clears throat> Every time Zachariah entered upon her in the prayer chamber, he found with her provision. He said, O oh Mary, from where is this coming to you? She said, It is from Allah. Indeed, Allah provides for whom he wills without account. In another situation, she was so weak, yet Allah ordered her to shake towards her the trunk of the palm tree so that the dates would fall down. Had Allah willed the dates to fall down with no, eff with no effort at all from her, he would have done so. Yet, he Most High teaches us to employ and not to neglect means. Allah Most High says, And shake towards the trunk of the palm tree. It will drop upon you ripe, fresh dates. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, offered the best example ever in utilizing means. A point which was clear during his blessed journey of Hijra. The Prophet, peace be upon him, taught his Ummah that good planning and careful agreement are necessary to success and overcome crises. The Prophet, peace be upon him, prepared two camels, chose his honest companion, and set the place and time suitable for leaving Mecca. So they left Mecca at night and chose a very skillful guide which explicitly indicates that the Prophet peace be upon him was fully aware of the importance of giving precedence to efficient people and making use of energies irrespective of the fact that thoughts opinions and even creeds may be different after that the Prophet peace be upon him or ordered to follow the footprints and erase them even though he fully knows that Allah protects them which means that he was fully aware of the importance of utilizing the means that's to say the Prophet peace be upon him wanted to teach us that Allah's laws decree that we should utilize means and then entrust all of our affairs to Allah most high with that said I ask Allah for forgiveness for me and for you all praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah, and I bear witness that our Master Prophet Muhammad is his slave and messenger. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, his family, companions, and whoever follows their guidance to the Day of Judgment. <clears throat> Muslim Brothers Utilizing the means does not contradict with reliance on Allah Most High. In truth, he who realizes the essence of reliance on Allah will certainly, will certainly utilize means. That's to say that a person who truly relies on Allah is the one who utilizes means, exerts his efforts and energy, and trusts all of his affairs to Allah. In this regard, Allah Most High said, 
<clears throat> it is you we worship and you we keep asking for help. Highlighting the practical application of reliance on Allah, Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him said, if you all depend on Allah with due reliance, he would certainly, certainly give you provision as he gives it to the birds that go forth hungry in the morning and return with full belly at dusk. Birds do not store food or drink, yet they are active in seeking for their provision as they start their search in the morning and come back in at dusk with what Allah has provided them with. This is actually a, a natural disposition that matches with life's movement. Had they had what suffices them to the end of the time, they would not have stopped seeking for provision. Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him used to teach his companions the true meaning of utilizing of means in all matters. He prohibited them from reliance without making use of means, since it causes harm, not benefit. At that point, we can put it that we are sinful and unfair if we do not utilize the means of progress and advancement. Our religion is that of knowledge, progress, civilization, and beauty. It is a religion that brings forth benefit for all mankind. It is narrated that a man said, O Messenger of Allah, shall I tie it and rely upon Allah or leave it loose and rely on Allah? He said, tie it and rely upon Allah. This means that tying the camel is a means to protect it from being stolen or lost. O Allah, guide us to what realizes the essence of, of our religion, the advancement of our people, and the progress of our country.